take possession to get this one underway. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. Receives the pass. Columbus plays the puck along the boards. With the steal. Takes the bump but hangs on. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Soros reads those cross crease attempts so well, but guys, it's his lateral movement that allows him to get across to make the stop. We call that his post to post zone ability. From one point man to another. Hammers it on net. Blocked in traffic. Takes a shot, and he can't find it net. Oh, and I like everything about this play until the finish, James. It's all about creating. That's exactly what happens. And then the puck is looking a little fine as it makes its way towards the net, and it misses. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Jenner's won the draw. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Nashville's going on the attack as they gain the zone. The Blue Jackets take possession in the defensive end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Oh, that has some heat on it, he makes the save. Passes the puck over to Forsberg. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Predators gain control of it. Merce Lickens hangs on to the puck to stop the play. Columbus takes possession off the draw. Dishes it to Marchenko. Nashville's got the puck along the boards. The Blue Jackets gain possession in their own end. Oh, 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 oh. somebody get the smelling salts after that. Close save. He knew exactly what he was doing. He scores! And does he ever? You know what's amazing, James? Every time he scores, it's like the entire bench elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows it on the ice and, of course, by example, off of it. Everyone on the team recognizes that when their leader scores, it's about the intangible, the hard work, the work ethic, the drive to compete. And that sends a message right down the entire line of let's get going. Columbus has the game's opening goal near the midway mark of period number one. Cheryl, does that still count as that quick start you were talking about? I don't qualify that as a quick start, James. You know, you got to find ways to generate more offense. Listen, they capitalize on what they got, but they have to continue to find their legs and increase the pace of this game if they want to win it. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Blue Jackets ready to go on the attack. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Columbus plays it along the wing. Quick pass to Johnson. Handles the puck at the point. They score! And it's back to back tallies! Yeah, and they've been chomping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here to find a way to continue the momentum. This is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area, the puck's on the backhand, fighting for a position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Blue Jackets have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. Moves it to Sissons. And he makes a save there. Can't get a hold of that pass. And that carries off a body in traffic. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Columbus holds a noticeable edge in the shot department here, and they lead in the first. Nashville's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. The Blue Jackets grab possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Pete. And he slides it quickly to Sillinger. Denies him! He got all of it! Past the halfway mark of this period, Columbus is enjoying a 2-0 lead.
They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Let's it go for the back end. And that got cut up in traffic and goes off the stick. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Soros can steal a game for his team with his skill in net. Gaudreau's got great hands. His puck on a string zone ability means he can stick handle his way into scoring chances. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. possession. Marchenko's going to play it against the half wall. And now he moves it quickly to Wawinski. Oh, I think that pane of glass got busted after the shot as the whistle blows the play down. Well, that was a blast of a shot. It just shows how strong the glass is and the technology, the new technology today, James, is it just spiders. But it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that goes off course off a body. And it's a quick pass to Peak. He might have a step here. He's in all alone. Oh, 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 oh. fantastic goal. Man, has he ever had his legs tonight? Look at him break away from the pack. He's in all alone. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle, James, with a little bit of a pause there to get the goaltender to bite, and then he puts it in the back of the net. Here in the later stages of this period, Nashville still down by two goals in this one. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Yossi's got the puck. Puts it on net. Gives them nothing in front. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Columbus will likely take this lead into the first intermission unless things completely bottom out here. Jenner's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Moves it quickly over to Peak. Nashville's got the puck. Quick feed to Sissons. Oh, just a textbook hit. Makes a move in front, and that one's turned away. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Great pressure on the offensive end by Evangelista. Back to the point it goes. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Stopped by the goaltender. Bumped off the puck. Takes the feet at the back end. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a prime time scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Welcome back, everybody. James Stavowski with you. Period number two, the middle frame, ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Predators continue to find themselves chasing the game here, James. I mean, you look at the possession numbers. They really haven't had the puck at all, so they're getting worn down right now. Oh, and he puts it wide of the net. No, and this is a near miss, James. You're trying to be accurate. You know how good the goal 
goaltenders are, and you just missed by a few inches. Yossi's got it against the boards. Let's move to the middle. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Tosses it on to Nightfist. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score of 3-1. Columbus has won the defensive zone draw. Severson's moving the puck through his own zone. The Blue Jackets are on the attack. Nashville's got a hold of it along the wall. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Here's a shot! before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Columbus knows they have a lot of talent and sometimes it doesn't always click. Tonight, it is clicking on all cylinders here, Cheryl. Yeah, when you watch it, it's so entertaining. It's like everyone has elevated their game at the same time. It's like a batting lineup that's everyone's firing at the same time. Imagine the runs and get batted in here, James. Same thing's happening on this scoreboard. have it now through center puck dumped in battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards picked up along the boards by Texier poked away and forces the turnover at center tries to get it over to Smith now a quick pass to Lozon and he slides it quickly to Sissons takes the feed here's a chance oh and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front quick feed to Sillinger on the attack along the boards good hit on the play Nashville's got a hold of the puck the Blue Jackets gain possession and he takes the dish through the neutral zone and along the boards here they come puck fired in deep and they'll go for a change the Predators are in transition. Moves it to Nyquist. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Taken along the wall by Nyquist. Great chance and an even better save. Solid check to slow him down. The Predators have it from their own end. Great read with the stick. Picked up along the wall by Wierenski. Takes the puck behind the net. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, what an effort as he lays out for the block. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. And he takes the feed. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Late goings of this period. Columbus with no shortage of fireworks tonight. They lead it 5-1. Corrales won the draw and they're on the attack. Nashville's got control of it now from their own end. And a nice save there as play continues. Oh, he saved him! Oh my goodness, what a score! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I had no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And now it's grabbed by Favreau. Nashville's crossed the line and on the attack. Shot! Goalie with a stop. Mazlikens has been really a 
effective tonight, really doing his part between the crease. Look at his save percentage, it's high, but his team is executing in front of him. So that makes his job that much more fun when he knows that his team's putting it in on the other end. It's down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. for the first 40 minutes. Let's see if they can try to change that here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now play. How do you view this one? Columbus has put their opponent in vulnerable positions all game long, James. They've been absolutely dominant in all three zones, and they just need to continue that through the last 20 minutes to be victorious in this one. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Here's a short pass to Sillinger. Columbus has it in the defensive end. And that's snapped away by Favreau. Grabbed along the board by Wierenski. Huge steal at his own end. Nashville's ready to go on the attack. And that's Take off a stick. Up. Here we go, two on one. Shoots! performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Let's it go. Oh, what a stop. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Moves it quickly over to Sherwood. Here's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Merzlikens with an incredible desperation save, James. And now that his team can get up the ice and create some offense, he can get some much-needed rest. I think the gas tank is empty. Nashville's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Predators take it across the blue line. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Right up the gut into the offensive end. The Predators look to start the transition game. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Fires it into the offensive zone. Columbus has it behind the cage. Quick pass to Novak. The Predators played along the boards. Quick feed to Smith. A chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Shot, and he shuts the door on that. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Sends it over to Sillinger. Here's a shot. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Columbus probably doesn't want this game to end tonight based on how things have gone offensively as they continue to lead in period number three. The Blue Jackets win that offensive zone face off. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Gains the zone from the right side. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And that stays out as he got just enough of the puck with the glove. And play continues. Trunches him into the boards. And he slides it quickly to Sillinger. With possession along the wall. 
Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. A chance in front, and that chance is blocked. Here's a shot. Glove save. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Picked off by Bemstrom. The Predators gain possession along the wall. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Foody. He got all of that one. I'm not sure if he just got the wind knocked out of him, James, after that enormous hit or whether there's an injury, but either way, he is really struggling to get back to the bench. Moves it to Parsonen. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. foodie has been shaken up after that hit. I mean, he goes down to the ice right through the body. You feel the effects, especially right from your skates, right through your head. That's a tough one to take. Quite the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Who wins? Carlton Bay has her answer. Gaudreau's worked hard, and even though he hasn't been rewarded for his efforts, I still like his game, and I think he's had the edge in our matchup tonight. Good Branson's crossed the line and gained the zone. Poked away by Yossi. Lankinen's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Win the draw here in the offensive zone. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Nashville's got it in their own zone. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. The Blue Jackets win the draw in their own end. Pushes it across to Marchenko. From a bad angle, big save just as time runs out. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. The Blue Jackets find a way to win tonight, and they were the better team statistically in a lot of categories, but I thought it really started with their sets. And what was impressive, James, was their face-off wins where they dominated at the dot were in all three zones. So in particular in the defensive zone, they were able to get out of danger. But when they were in the offensive zone, they were able to pose a threat and capitalize on their chances. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.